In this video, we're going to complete our relocation in Vietnam. But before that, let's go back in time to our first trip we've ever made in Vietnam, the Vung Tau. The difference in atmosphere, people, and landscapes in this coastal city compared to Saigon sparked my undeniable interest in leaving Saigon behind for a more suited home base. I love the greenery, I love the hiking. That's why I was like, I don't wanna go. Ho Chi Minh City is great and all for many people, but just not for us for two reasons, traffic and lack of nature. Our move began with us packing, planning. I'm gonna get going back to the end. More packing and of course, every claustrophobic worst nightmare, a 20 hour coach trip to Da Nang. I can't sleep. But why Da Nang though? The city located on the coast of the East Sea of Vietnam is considered the cleanest, most worth living and so on. Like Saigon, it's amongst the five directly controlled municipalities administrated by the central government. Since designated the first class city, this historically rich land now is home to approximately 1.2 million. However, our favorite ones are affordable fresh seafood and unbelievable landscapes like the Golden Bridge in Bana Hill. I definitely love this apartment. It is like a serious upgrade from our last one too. And we'll show you why in this video. Previously, we showed you how our apartment hunt went and how quickly we fell in love with our new home. I'm absolutely ready to get out of this hotel room and settle in. But we still need to complete this final step to settle in our new home. To do this, we need to clean, fly, ship, and arrange our things. Oh, lots of spraying, whistling, and squawking too. I was so lonely. And all of it starts right here in this hotel. Finally get to bounce out of this hotel room and make our way to our own apartment. Don't worry about like all of those suitcases, okay? We've been staying in this hotel room for two nights and three days, waiting for this time to come. Now we're gonna check out and we're gonna take a taxi to get to our new apartment. Sign room. In order to pay for the whole hotel, um, you guys need to probably bring some cash with you because they don't do the tap in here. How much was it for the hotel? A little bit more than a million. I could not take both suitcases. Is that him over there? So, was it him? This guy is not the guy that I contacted, oh. but um, he was here because the other guy that I called, he was kind of busy, so he ended up referring to this guy. Because we have like two gigantic cases here, so we need a vehicle to deliver all of the suitcases to the new building. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> all right, so I just took a bike to get to the airport in Da Nang. I'm gonna get to Saigon around like 11.45, and then the next day, I'm gonna try to figure out how to ship everything. I already talked to the shipment company and they said that everything was gonna be very easy, especially when we already like, got everything packed up. So, all right, we'll see about that. Too tired right now, it's almost 9.30. Finally made it back to my apartment in Saigon. And now it's around 12.20 in the morning back to my apartment Mari is not here so the feeling is gonna be so different now we just finished wrapping and packing everything up so after everything is all done done we have one two three four five six six boxes here with the same size and then we have a suitcase over there and i just asked the guys who came to uninstall the AC unit to wrap it up for me. They did it for me and then I gave them some extra money and they were willing and happy to do so for me. And also the, the AC now, we have the hot box at the bottom and also the AC itself is situated on top of the hot box. And I also asked the guys to box it all up for me too. And here is like the heaviest box of all of these shipments. Look at this. One person or two people won't be able to move this thing because it has a lot of like wooden pieces from our desks as well as our bookshelves. 
Now, the next thing I have to do is to go to the shipment or the shipping company and ask them to, to take all of this stuff. Man, this is insane. I don't know if I could handle all of this if they didn't come to help. And originally, the shipping company told me, like the lady that I talked to in the first place, she said that the company didn't do the delivery job or service, but now they do. So I'm glad they did. I think the whole thing is gonna be delivered to our new address in Da Nang in a couple of days, probably three days max. All right, let's see how the guys are doing back there. Did a pretty good job there. Cleaning lady has already done her job, so I hope that Maddie didn't have like a tough time there talking with them and understanding what's going on. So the cleaning lady just left. Now, the reason we had to have this cleaning lady is because the people that lived here before us, unfortunately, did not clean the apartment when they left. So everything was, I have to admit, pretty atrocious. I just want to go over everything once more to make sure it's like up to my standards. One of the main reasons for that being is ants. This, like the floor was really bad. It had like a lot of dust and dirt everywhere. She cleaned all that up, swept it all up. But even after she left, I swept once more and I've generated this little pile, which isn't bad considering how it looked for this couch. We don't have a vacuum cleaner, which bugged me a little bit, but we do have packing tape. So what I'm gonna do for the couch is take the packing tape, wrap it around my hand, having like the sticky side out, and then just going ham on that couch. And then I'm just gonna spray it down with some, if I can find like Lysol or the Vietnamese equivalent to Lysol, we'll see. I don't know. And then, oh, unfortunately, ugh, this kitchen is gonna bother me a lot. I'm gonna see if there's anything that I can do about it. This is, this is for me. I was trying to get the uh, stain here up. So I'm gonna go downstairs also and see if there's like any kind of like stain remover for this countertop, cause that, that's bad. The cleaning lady, unfortunately, forgot this cabinet. Yeah, this cabinet is really bad. So I'm gonna have to go back in here. So all the cabinets here, she cleaned out most of the cabinets below. She cleaned, I don't think she wiped it too, too much though. Yeah, I'm gonna throw that away. Oh, shoot. Just got my slippers a bit from walking in the laundry room and accidentally tracked it into the kitchen. So, I'm gonna wipe it off. <coughs> okay, excuse the, 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 the super messy look. I just started cleaning up everything. I just sprayed some bug spray and it stinks really bad. I should actually open the window before I inhale too much. But like, I don't know how well you can see all the little specks, but there's like thousands. I'm really happy with the progress that I've made. Like I got most of the house clean, most of it. I did not finish the kitchen. I lost the energy after that little fiasco with the ants. So I'm leaving that for tomorrow, but I am really happy that I worked really hard to get the stain removed. I somehow managed to get it out. This is like a thousand times better than what it was before. So yeah, tomorrow I just pretty much have the kitchen to finish, but I'm probably not gonna do that until later on in the day because it is so freaking hot in the middle of the day. All right, so really quick tour. Why not? Tour of me doing better. So as you can see, living room is much better. I'm currently washing the cover for the seat of the couch. The TV stand here, all cleaned up. Coffee table with some rambutans I bought downstairs. Little nice decoration. Pink bag full of food. The dining room table, oh my gosh, that looks so much better compared to what it was earlier. Everything was covered with cleaning supplies because I kept going downstairs, picking up new stuff and coming back up. Yeah, you already saw the kitchen. Oh, here's the entryway. Bathroom looking stellar. 
This is the second bathroom. Now this is the bedroom. Don't mind that little ball. That was actually my pillow earlier. Well, last night actually. But yeah, looking good. The view out this window is pretty nice. You can feel the good breeze coming through too. And then we got our wardrobe over there in that crevice. That's about it. I was able to ship everything to the company to deliver all the stuff to their name successfully. And I was also able to sweep the entire unit and also give it a little mop. And now everything looks so good and it's even better than and what it looked like when we first moved in. Some of the things that we still have left are, you know, the stuff that we're gonna carry down to the southwest with us. So we're just gonna leave a few items that we need for the trip here. Finally finished cleaning this entire apartment. But the thing that took the most time, of course, was the kitchen. I bought this bottle not even that long ago and it's already almost out. It's like down to here. So yeah, I bleached the heck out of this kitchen. The little surprises that I got. I had two of these things pop out at me. One was visible and the other one was not. The other one was hiding in this cabinet. So this thing is filled with rice and then burnt incense. I couldn't see that. So as I was taking the shelf off and out of the top, the whole thing just tumbled out and all over the clean counter that I had. And I was like, oh my gosh, that was fun. So that was my little experience with cleaning the kitchen. So I showed you guys yesterday the living room and the dining room. But I have not showed you guys this room. So this room we plan on having it as kind of like our office space and it's really nice. I absolutely love this room for one reason and that is the view. Look at that, so freaking good. So with this view and like the brightness overall in this room, we decided to turn this one into our office space. I am very excited to get all of our furniture delivered so that I can see everything come together in this place. Now the other thing that I really love about this apartment is like the balcony and how cool it is at night. For the past two nights that I've been here by myself, I've been eating dinner out on this balcony. Just like coming out here, it's nice and cool. You get this wicked view. Look at that, that is amazing. Like this probably is gonna be my favorite spot. And eventually I want to have like really nice furniture out here. That way I can chill out here or work out here when it's cool. Cause it's so cool in the middle of the night. It is like a serious upgrade from our last one too. Everything here is done. And it's now time for me to catch another flight to get back to Da Nang to meet up with Mari. And hopefully the shipment will be there in a couple of days and I'll be there to be able to help Mari with all of the arrangement in the house. Alrighty, finally made it back to the apartment. So you're sleeping? You didn't sleep last night. Okay, everything is clean, everything is clear, and everything smells so good. <laughs> it looks so good, man. You did a very good job on the counter. Look at this. In a couple of days, our stuff is gonna be arriving here. It's in the morning. It's time to get up. No, it's not. Let's get up and enjoy the sunshine in this beautiful unit. Compared to the previous one, the apartment that we that we have in Saigon, this one has a lot more lighting and brightness. In terms of prices, this one is a lot cheaper and it's a lot more spacious. Even though we only paid 6 million for the rent in Saigon for the apartment, but then the management fee is roughly around 600 to 700 a month. This one, we have to pay 6.2 million, but then all of the management fee is included in the rent, except for the electricity and also the water bills.
everything is delivered for this box. What happened exactly is what I feared happening. It's split. <laughs> we did what we could, right? I know. At least everything's still together, and that's the most important thing. Let's do the fridge first so we can plug it in. That's awesome, yes. Go back. And now we have to have a hard talk. Open that. <laughs> Luckily, the fridge is clean. <laughs> Kitchen stuff. Now we can cook. Hangers, finally. Finally, finally. Shoes. We can move the microwave down over here too. That way it's a lot easier. Mm. Kitchen's done. Kitchen is done, okay. Putting together the light. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Can I see? Maddie. What? You're making a mess here. Didn't mean to. You're right. Yeah. Like, you really have to take this cap off by pulling this up. See? Up. And then all you need to do is give it a little push. This is out. Right? And then you take everything. One done. Hmm? This? Yep. Just imagine when we have like some guests here. I know. It's gonna be nice. Maybe for this Luna New Year, my sister is gonna visit us. <gasps> really? Did you ask her? Uh, no, not yet. Are you gonna have to ask? I was so lonely, so very lonely, because I'm afraid of ghosts. I need you right here. I had nobody. I was on my own. They were talking a lot. Yeah. Man, when you guys were loading stuff onto the elevator, mm. I felt so bad for the people that were already on there and that one guy that was stuck in the corner. Yeah. Ooh, my butt. We need one more piece. No, 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 no. Right? Here. Mm. There. Let's put it right in the middle. The bookcase is really, really sturdy now. It's ready for use. Right here. Then the second one goes onto the other side. Some more books. And that's it for now. All of the books, all of the stuff for our work and for our reading has been placed on the shelves. My computer. Maddie's computer. So, you choose the side. I want that side. You want that, that side? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'll take this side. How do you like your desk so far? I love it, especially because of the view. Like, if I look out here, I get to see the sea. Why? Look at the sea! Oh my goodness, that's why you chose this one, man. Like, the river and then all of the buildings next to the beach. Man, the sea up there, and you can also see, like, some of the islands. I know. In a far, right there. Yeah. Man, that is so good. <laughs> Come on, man. That's, that's why you said, that's why you should have chose. I let you have a choice, but you said yeah. you don't care. It's and okay. I choose. It's okay as long as it makes you happy. Let's move on to the next thing. Balcony. 
cheers. All right, let's move things around to make you happy. Yay! Okay. Such a snug fit. Let's move the couch and everything here out of the living space. I mean the kitchen space. We want it to be right here, right? Yeah. Put all the chairs in. Now let's just sweep this whole thing and give it a little mop and then pull the rug out. I think she's right. So the couch should be over here and that one is, I don't know, somehow is placed and situated really snugly in that area. Where are you going? We're walking around the area. This area, all right. Do we just go straight this way? Go straight this way? David, mm -hmm. wouldn't it be this way? Do you want to go that way? All I'm saying is, if you remember the road that we were on when we came here the first time, like to view the apartment the very, very first time. Okay. That away. Let's cross the, the street here. <sighs> it's so much easier to cross the street here. So. You, you don't want to go to the park over there? No. I want to go to the beach. Like the sun set in this area so, so quickly. It goes down, it starts going down around five something. And I wonder like what they're going to be putting out through here. I, I think don't they're think going to build gonna... like a park here. Yeah, because look at all the trees yeah. that they planted. Oh, the smell of the sea. I'm taking the Google Maps route and I think it's leading us the wrong direction because I don't even know this area. And there was a section that said there was a beach up ahead, so I have no idea. But we'll just go, we'll go with the flow. Go with the flow. Good spot. Okay. Next time, if we have, when we have more time, we'll go to the beach. Unless you want to wake up at five in the morning and go see sunrise. This place is so good, man. So good. And I think like it's still in the developing state, right? Everything oh, yeah. is being built and everything is still like being put together. So much potential in this area. How are you feeling right now? How do you feel about this spot? I'm actually very happy, Mari. If you understand like how those undeveloped areas are sometimes in Vietnam, you probably don't like this area. I like the fact that it is underdeveloped right now because then that also means that there is more greenery and things to look at, like the natural beauty rather than just the concrete, right? And concrete is exactly what I wanted to escape in Ho Chi Minh City. This area is more on the coastal side, which is a little far away from downtown itself. Yeah. That's why it's not, it's a little more secluded, it's not overcrowded, it's not filled with people and markets and buildings. But um, this is exactly what we wanted to, to find. I always like told Mari that I wanted to find a space that doesn't have a lot of people, right? Maybe we have like enough soil, maybe enough yard that we can just grow something like, you know, some vegetable, <laughs> raise some chickens or something like that. That's exactly what I've always dreamt of. And you know, this is like a really great test to see if we're okay with being farther out away from the city. Anyway, now that you have a little bit more time, I want you to wander around the little grocery store. I don't know why I'm so excited for you to walk around it, but I am. Let's go to the store real quick, grab what we need. Okay. That's it. Oh, they have instant uh, porridge too. Oh yeah. For breakfast maybe? Yeah. Now we need a decent amount of water. This one's the cheapest. <laughs> You're really looking for like the cheapest? Yep. I see. <laughs> Toothpaste dispenser. <laughs> like we don't have hands anymore. Oh, and these food containers, they're super nice. Mm -hmm. Look at these. In your next video, we'll be preparing everything for our trip to Southwest Vietnam. This is gonna be our longest scooter ride ever as we will venture through all 13 provinces of the region. Someone's being a good scooter driver. Lots of places and things to see. So keep an eye out for this next video as we're gonna show you how we plan everything to a T and officially start our ever dream trip in Vietnam. Also like this video and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you again in the next adventure.
definitely less traffic than Saigon. 